Hey guys, Nigel here from Fukuoka, Japan. And today I want to talk to you about how to speed up online arbitrage using a Chrome extension called Easy Link Preview. Now, I was going crazy in December. I was looking for certain jackets, certain sizes. I was, you know, using Google to do the searches of these particular items. And man, I had to keep going, you know, multiple sites over and over so many tabs on my Chrome, I was getting sick and tired of it. And uh, actually a guy named Nate McAllister posted a, an a article about uh, how you could make Chrome extensions. So I started thinking to myself, man, I need to go out and get myself this, you know, Chrome extension idea uh, plugin to put in my uh, browser so I could easily find, you know, these websites without having to click on every single, you know, one of these uh, websites and it would open up like a pop-up window on the right hand side so I could see the website really quickly make a, a quick a, assessment whether or not I would need that product if it was a good price um, another problem I find is the robots on Google don't properly show the information on the website and things were selling out so quickly that when I would go to the website it would say sold out even though Google saying yeah it's you know in stock and they have it um, in uh, actual in, in, in inventory so anyways then I was gonna actually go out and make this Chrome extension and I thought to myself man you know it's gonna cost me maybe five hundred dollars eight hundred dollars so I started you know looking in Google and lo behold I did actually find it now here as you can see um, on my Google uh, window here it's actually called easy link preview and you just go down over to here and you click on here and like any other Chrome extension you've ever had before you just add to Chrome okay really simple and then it'll pop up on the right hand side over here and I'll say easy on the right hand side um, also there is some uh, what is it called uh, what is it called the uh, HTTPS HTTPS uh, problems with some websites like with the SSL and stuff like that so I'll teach you what to do when that happens you have to Basically, it says right here, all, all the information is over here. Um, basically, you're gonna have to open up something on the browser, on the top uh, part of the browser, and then it'll work much more efficiently. Okay, guys, uh, so let's get started. And I'm gonna show you the old way of how I would be searching, okay? And I'll put a link in below this video so you can easily find that uh, extension, okay? So say for example, I wanted this uh, Giro, Giro Montane snow helmet or something like that. And I wanted the matte black small. Now currently it was, I think it's about a hundred bucks and I know I can get it for around maybe 30 to 30 to $40 or something like that. Okay, so what I would do is I would take that and I would head over to Amazon, sorry, I would head over to Google and I would try to search. And there's the first one, that's the first Amazon link right there as you see. And then what I got to do is I got to go find, you know, the helmet. So I'd have to go to backcountry. And what I would normally do is I would push command on my keyboard and I would open up a new tab. And then I'd keep scrolling. Okay, snow skiing store, ha a snow skin, snow skiing store has it over here. We have another website over here. And I'd have to open up all these tabs. And then I'd have to go over here to page two, click on page two, and Rakuten has it. And I'd have to keep going through all of these different tabs. If I click on shopping, it actually doesn't really pull up anything on the Google Shopping. That's one of my old ways. I used to love using, uh, you know, Google Shopping. Maybe what I could do is take this keyword and make it a little bit smaller, and maybe just do that. Nothing comes up on shopping over here. Maybe if I do this. Okay, I'm on a. It actually knows my Japanese browser. So for inter international people, this totally sucks. What it's doing is it's pulling my iPhone, uh, Google Chrome IP, and then what it's doing is it's linking to my Gmail and it knows my geolocation because of my iPhone. So Google Shopping is a nightmare to use if you're outside of the US, US because it uses your geolocation of your iPhone in Chrome. It's, I, I don't know how to get rid of it. So again, this doesn't work Google Shopping very well if you're international. So what I would have to do is I'd have to click on each one of these, you know, individual links and then I'd have to go through them and see if, you know, this is a good deal or not. Wow, wow, $176. Okay, so yeah, this is a great example. This is basically an Amazon 
uh, affiliate website. It probably or something. So it looks like an uh, like an affiliate website. It could be some type of Shopify store. I'm not too sure what it is, but this is definitely not someone you want to buy from. They're just a reseller, basically. So again, it's wasting my time. I've got to open up the whole entire website and then they go through all this manually. Okay, so there you go. Um, this is not the way I wanted to do online arbitrage by opening up, you know, hundreds of tabs, speeding down your computer, and uh, you know, sl making your computer really sluggish slow. Okay. You get the idea, right? So now let's do the way I want to search, the proper way. Now this is the new Easy Link Preview way of doing online arbitrage. Okay, so what I have here is a jacket from Columbia. Now I got to give big, big props over here to Rev uh, Rev Seller Variation Viewer. Um, it's a plugin. You got to pay money for this. It's not cheap. I think it's like a hundred bucks a year, but it's absolute must to have this. And then what you do is you click on Variation. And this is basically like the run through of how I do this. And what, oh, there we go. Now this is awesome, great information here. We've got Stormy Blue Heather, I'll try to zoom that in there. Stormy Blue Heather has three reviews. Uh, Collegiate Navy Heather has three and Extra Large. Well, surprising, Extra Large is actually up there and large, generally medium is what I usually go for. Okay, so I'm gonna just make this a little bit smaller and I'm gonna go from price. I'm gonna narrow down the price. So there we go, 60 bucks. There we go, 60 bucks, 60 bucks. Okay, this is the one I want. Stormy Blue Heather, 60 bucks for the large. Now that's pretty good because uh, RevSeller is telling me over here that Stormy Blue Heather has three reviews. That's awesome, good stuff, good stuff. So it is uh, an extra large too. So either large or uh, extra large in the stormy blue color color okay so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go search Google and I'm gonna go hit search hopefully I can do this without making any errors so it's nice and easy for you guys to follow okay so what you're gonna do is as you can see you've got lots of different websites who have this particular jacket what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit easy link on the top up here actually no what I'm gonna do sorry about that is if you hover over the link, you see a little thing that says EZ. You click on that and boom, it loads just like that. Awesome, now that's Amazon, so we obviously don't need that, okay? Now, there's two options here. Um, there's a couple things you need to know first also. This little pin, if you pin it to the left there, kind of goes to the left, it basically will, op it'll close the window when you go to the next website. See how it closed it like that? It's not very convenient, I don't like that. So if you go up here and click easy again, and you click that little pin, and you pin it down, what it'll do is it's gonna stay on the, on the right hand side with a pop up over here on the right. So as I'm scrolling, going to the next website, it's not, it's, sorry, it's going to keep the window on the right, okay? So this is one way you can do your searching. Now as you can see right now, this website is not loading. The reason is, is there's a bit of a security problem with the, uh, what is it, SSL, HTTPS, whatever. So what you need to do is on the top of your, what is this, the URL browser part in here, there's a little X in here with a shield. You click on that and you select load unsafe scripts. Push that button and what it does is it basically the window it disappears and then you just hit the easy one more time and then boom, it'll load up. There you go, awesome, good stuff. Okay, remember, we are looking for, um, what was it? We wanted, what color was it again over here? We wanted, uh, shoot, I can't remember. Stormy Blue Heather, I'm looking for Stormy Blue Heather. Ah, Dick Sporting Goods, not good, they don't have that. Okay, next one, next website. Takes a little while, um, right now I'm on a US VPN, so my internet connection is a little bit slower. Normally, if I'm on my Japanese IP, it's ridiculously fast. Okay, so again, Stormy Blue not showing up over here, I don't think, no Stormy Blue. Now, one thing I wanna show you, okay, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna get rid of this window here, get rid of this. If you push the actual Easy Link, Easy Web, uh, Easy Link Preview uh, button over here, what it'll do is it'll split screen it. And this is actually a really good way of searching. I prefer this way now, actually. And what you do, again, same idea, Dick Sporting Goods, you just hover. You don't need to click inside the website anymore. How awesome is that? 
you can scroll you can look you can see if it's legit again the next website you click on that and then there you go what it does though is it um, kind of shrinks it down a little bit so you can't quite see you have to how to explain you have to see you got to scroll up and down it shrinks the whole website down like that okay we keep going down keep going down there you go you got an eBay link down here and there you go could up oh, currently sold out okay cool you're not wasting my time I don't need to open up that window and one over here called Simon's Sporting Goods and uh, over here again same thing again doesn't look like they have it in inventory or in stock let's go to page two. Oh, Sierra Trading Post one of my favorites oh what's this oh stormy blue woohoo found it there it is stormy blue in small medium and large awesome cool I'm gonna clear this out all right so you get the idea I have found the jacket I want I've got the small the medium the large now what you can do is uh, within this little window over here you can do a couple of options one you can hit the little button with a square with an arrow pointing up to the right and if you push that it's gonna open up a whole new window now that's pretty convenient now you you know you've got the full link of the of the website that you need and then over here what I love is there's a little arrow to the left you push this and look at that we can go back to the previous websites that we were checking before okay go back whatever go back you get the idea back on eBay we're back on this uh, what is this Simon Siemens website over here and then this should take us back to Sierra trading post awesome there we go okay when you're finished and you found the product that you need you hit X and this brings you back to the original uh, Google search window that you're on before now you have yourself a link to the product that you needed isn't that awesome so much better doing your you know searches like this um, let's see there's anything else I wanted to show you oh yeah 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 one more thing I wanted to show you is uh, say you're down in here and um, it, there's a, there's one seller for sixty dollars for this large now normally what I would have to do is say say it, it, it you'd have to go inside and you'd have to go to the next page what I like to do is just push this here hit the easy and then what this does is it opens up the uh, the seller window in here so here I can see Amazon is selling it for sixty dollars okay so again just click X click it off boom now I'm back to the original page normally what you would do <coughs> excuse me normally what you would do is if you clicked on that page inside here if I clicked on here I would lose this window and then I'd have to go back and then select the size and the color all over again it's a big nightmare in Amazon every time you do that you gotta kinda start the window all over again or what you could do is just hit command on your keyboard and then uh, open up a new new window every single time and then do it like that so that's normally how how I would do it but again what I'm doing is just using this easy link to see oh really quickly I need to look at this window boom opens up okay cool 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 Amazon selling okay maybe I'm not gonna get this jacket now okay so um, you know what it also works uh, in Facebook if you're looking at people's pictures uh, any albums or any links like that you can use it with uh, without having to open up the whole entire website within a tab okay so I think that's about it guys um, I, that's basically in a nutshell uh, how this works and uh, exactly this is a great example here uh, where it says available from the sellers uh, normally you'd have to click in here to see who's selling this item you just hit easy over here and now you can see who's selling this product and you can go from there pretty cool right now you don't have to click all the way inside there every single time and you can still maintain being on the same page okay guys that is it it is called easy link preview it is a Chrome extension that I believe you're going to like when you're doing online arbitrage I hope this has helped you very much thanks for watching guys peace